Hello, snowed in tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 3, Scenario 3, with me, Blue Ankylo. So, last episode, we had a promotion party, and if you missed that, you're. What a shame, you missed an amazingly fun section of the game. So, everyone's got their, uh. Well, the main team has all got some new, uh. Some new, uh. Looks, let's say. And some better stats, and, uh, it's pretty cool. Possibly new spells for some of them, and, uh, they can start leveling up a little bit more. So that's pretty awesome. Today's adventure is to explore, uh, well, it's sort of a town, but, you know, it's fine. It's not a very big town. So we are, like, way far north now, even further north of the Great Wall than, than, uh, you'd expect there to be people. It's just snowstorms all the time out there. And, uh, apparently there's snow fairies, maybe, or snow witches, I don't know. Don't worry about, big bro can take care of snow fairies, clearly. Got nothing to worry about. Hmm, oh uh, well, it's nice to know that the blizzard is taking a break, you know. So, uh, there is a couple bits of treasure to find in the town. Oh look, some more Ori Calcum. Sure hope there's something I can do with that. Uh, so apparently it's not really winter yet, and we're getting snowstorms all the time. I thought everyone was saying that winter was here a little bit early this year, and it was just a cold year anyway. Uh, there's always a blizzard, apparently. I don't know what you guys are talking about. The old man says this never happens, the old woman says this always happens. Always bickering. We are indeed headed for remotest, haha, <laughs> haha. Did we get lost? No, there's just a snowstorm. We have to take shelter. Simple. Just gonna wait it out. That's probably a good idea. It's probably smart. It's just about the season for snow fairies. I guess, you know, if you live up in the mountains, you're just used to snow fairies or witches just causing blizzards whenever. It's fine. If you need supplies, you're in the right place. Alright, so another item shop. Uh... I don't see anything new there. Um. Oh look, we could buy some Ori Calcum. So, I mean, I haven't really talked about it yet, but um, there is some stuff we can do with Ori Calcum. And we can't buy infinite of it, but we might as well buy some. <laughs> we'll talk about this if we can find a blacksmith. No, just give it to Leon. All right, we bought out all her Ori Calcum. We can always use, well, the Chaos Ring if you want to use a Cursed Weapon. I don't know. I, I never thought it was the best idea, really. Um, and I should sell the old Ruins map that we're not going to use. I did pick up some small Mithril out of our stash. Uh, specifically so that... Um, so that we can make a couple more accessories. Alright, so I think... If I remember correctly, everyone says snow fairies are harmless unless they kill you in a blizzard. But I think there's a Hagel here, and there's in fact two Hagels here. Alright. I don't know the deal with the snow fairies, but uh, for now I'm looking for more Ori Calcum. Apparently up north there's lots of Ori Calcum. Yeah, look, more Ori Calcum. So if you don't have as much money as I do, don't worry about it, you don't need that much money. Um, it's kind of like Mithril. The shortage is, uh, the actual item itself. There is one more Hagel. I almost don't even know if it's worth it, but I'd like to show it off at least, so. We'll stick it out, you know. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't take too long to unlock. But, uh, if you haven't guessed it yet, um, oh good, more power undies. That's really valuable in a snowstorm. Don't forget your uh, long undies. Um, you know, we're making new weapons, and you have to be promoted to be able to equip them. And I mean second promoted, not just first promoted. Now, the weapon shop, you know, it's still a thing, right? If you want to buy some mithril weapons here, uh, there's definitely some good stuff. I feel like they might have rotated the stock. So, like, there's definitely some different looking mithril weapons here than what was at the last shop. I'm pretty sure. It doesn't mean they're better necessarily, it just means they're some of the different versions. So, um, 
If you haven't promoted everyone yet, you know, some of these might be worth picking up. Just being able to straight up buy Sleepy Broads is a pretty great deal. Because then you can just put uh, Regeneration on anyone that can equip them. That's not a bad idea. Um, it's pretty much the only weapon you can equip for all your mages and healers that can regenerate MP. Um, I don't know. Sometimes there's weapons that have uh, on-use magic. They, they're pretty good. You know. The uh, regenerating MP rapiers, we've seen that before. It's pretty good stuff, really. And the deals might have some new stuff in it. It's hard to see it these days because it's so full. Uh, there is a new axe in here that wasn't in here before. So, uh, in case you didn't find the Gaia's axe, you can buy one. Um, there's not a whole lot of people that could equip it. Other than Leon. But it's here, in case you want it. Um, I don't see what the point of having two is, but, uh, you know. You get to see all the cool stuff we've sold over the, uh, the days. This deal section is gonna get even more ridiculous before too much longer. But anyway, there's, there's nothing that we need to worry about in the weapon shop. What we're looking forward... No, 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 I don't want to go out. I don't want to go out! I am not leaving this thing yet. But I guess we're going to see this cutscene first. Oh, the storm appears to be getting worse again. It seems we'll have to wait a little longer. Uh-oh. The door! Oh, wait. Is that a snow witch? I'm the Snow Witch! I'm here to turn everything to ice! Nah. <laughs> I freeze humans and suck out their blood. That's how I survive. If you're frozen though, wouldn't their blood be frozen? And now I will freeze you and feast on your fresh, fresh frozen blood! Uh, Bessem Staff, go! Uh, this is strange. My blizzard is not freezing you. I'll give it even more power. Hmm. I sure hope my innovator can stop the blizzard. Something's wrong. You shouldn't be. You should have been frozen by my powerful blizzard. Who are you? Stop this. What? Now there's princesses? You may possess great powers, but you are still brave to challenge us alone. Harming humans is unacceptable. We, the Julian army, will punish you. Yeah, sorry, Ice Witch. You're all here. Yeah, like, we're, we... They were just downstairs. They heard the ruckus. Everyone, come here quickly. Is this the work of the Snow Witch? That's right. I have some friends with me, too. For your own good, you should stop. Be gone. I do this to survive. I'm waiting for someone to free me from my misery. Maybe you... Uh, you may have a reason, but your evil deeds... Will you withdraw for now? You're asking me to withdraw. But I'm the Snow Witch! I won't die before I have my revenge on Bullzoom, who turned me into this! Uh, you know, we're fighting Bolsom, right? There is no room for battle in this cabin. We shall fight outside in the snowstorm! Julian, going outside would be very risky, seeing as she's the Snow Witch and it's snowy. She'll have the home field at advantage, and it would be stupid. But we're going to do it anyway. If you stay here, the blizzard will continue and you'll run out of food and firewood while I slowly starve to death from lack of human blood. Who will last the longest? Stay in this cabin and die, or fight me and die. It doesn't matter to me, but I'd rather have fresh blood. So come out and die, so I can get fresh blood. Please. Maybe? This is a tricky situation, Julian. I didn't expect the Snow Witch. Apparently everyone that lives here knew about the Snow Witch, so seriously guys, why didn't you listen to the villagers? She's the cause of the storm! How powerful must she be to control nature and create blizzards? But she also says she hates Bolzom and won't die before she has her revenge. What about compassion? Julie and I, I believe we must prepare for battle, so we... As we now know the cause of our predicament. 
We must do something to calm Marky's blizzard and hurry towards the ancient. How do you know her name's Marky? Hmm? I don't. She just called herself the Snow Witch. Anyway, <laughs> don't worry about that. We got shopping to do and potions to grab. I guess it's not really shopping at this point. So, um, you don't look like a merchant. Want some special stuff? So, I spent a little bit of time between episodes trying to decide what my first Ori Calcum weapons would be. Uh, we have a fair number. We've got like maybe six or seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we got seven Ori Calcum weapons. Now, unlike Mithril, there's just one Ori Calcum weapon per weapon type. And some of them are better than others, like, like, okay, first off, Julian, Symbios, and Medion, although you can make them a, a, a Ori Calcum blade, sword, or rapier, they're actually gonna get a better one later than Ori Calcum, so it's sort of wasted on them, um, because they've got like a ultimate, you remember Shining Force too, you, you know what to expect. Right? Right, guys? There's, there's a special weapon for the hero coming in near the end of the game. Although that might not happen for a while, so having an Ori Calcum weapon for, for this chapter might be useful. But, you know, I think it's kind of a waste of it. Uh, Gracie can't use it at all. So then we're looking at, like, non-hero characters. So, who do you want to make an Ori Calcum weapon? Now, unfortunately, weapons that have, like, extra elemental affinity, like, uh the demonic damage type or the magic damage type, the Ori Calicum weapons generally don't have that, and they might not have the plus seven defense from your mithril weapon if you've got one that you really like. So, like, we could make a new weapon for Kate, it will almost certainly, well, it'll do more damage, but she'll lose out on some defense points. Um, now I'm planning on making her a uh, power ring between episodes, so she'll get five defense back, she'll get an attack bonus from the power ring, but she'll lose defense from uh, losing her mithril bow. Uh, there's some very interesting options for the, the spell casters with their Ori Calcum wands, onks, and rods. Uh, in specific, the wand is very, very interesting. So I'm probably going to make at least one Ori Calcum wand. Maybe two. We'll see how I feel. Um... Cyclops is also interesting in that he actually gets a unique claw that's kind of better than Oricalcum in a way. It's probably better. So he's kind of ruled out. I was, I was looking at it. Your um, non-equipping type characters don't get them at all. Um, the Oricalcum Tomahawk is not range 3, so you lose out on range to get a higher damage range 2 weapon. The Ori Calcum Axe doesn't have the big defense bonus that the Gaia Axe does. Um, the Ori Calcum Lance doesn't have the magic elemental. The Wing doesn't have regeneration. The Spear does not have the holy effect. Um, the Ori Calcum Sword is pretty good. Uh, the Ori Calcum Halberd is good, although it doesn't have Spark 3, but you could just hold on to your, halberd, your Arc Halberd for that. The mace is good, but it doesn't have the, the magic damage, and the rapier is actually probably a straight upgrade for Spiriel. So, like, all that said, it's difficult for me to say, like, which ones I want to make first. I'm sort of going to make them all at some point, but I don't know. Like, like basically, I'm sort of doing this semi-randomly because I, I haven't decided a good um, priority system. But I definitely want to show them all off, so I'll probably make one for everyone at some point, or two, depending on how many weapons they've got. But it uh, depends on how many Ori Calcum we get. So I'm going to start with an Ori Calcum Halberd. I don't know if it's much better, because his, his old Halberd is Defense and Regen, which is pretty good. Now, this time, normally you just leave the shop and come back in. I think we basically have to go into the headquarters and come back up to get it to respawn. So it's a little bit of a pain to get these uh, weapons crafted in this town. I'm sure there's a town with a more traditional smithy coming up, but uh, you know, it doesn't take that long. It's fine. So this is the Buster Halberd, and uh, I mean, it definitely does more damage. 
And just because you make an Ori Calcum Halberd doesn't mean you have to get rid of your other weapons if you don't want to. Just like you know, just because you have a Nori Calcum weapon doesn't mean you you have to throw away your regeneration. But there's your Buster Halberd. We're losing defense and regeneration, but we're getting a fairly big attack bonus. And the way I remember it, the specials from the Ori Calcum weapons are generally superior. They are the best special attacks in the game, the best criticals. So um, whatever the Gorgon Buster does. I would expect it's pretty powerful, but I mean, we'll have to ch test it out. So that's, you know, one of them. I think I'll do maybe one more on camera and then I'll maybe, well, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I want to make a wand. So we need to equip a wand here. And then she doesn't have to have the Orichalcum in her inventory, it's fine. Let's use Gracias because he can't even, uh, can't have one anyway. And we'll make one for Bridget because she's, I'm pretty sure I equipped a wand. I don't really want to make a rod, so we'll go with the wand. These are pretty expensive, but I feel like at this point in the game, unless you've had your hero die a lot, you should have a ton of money. And, um, you know, you could easily sell a couple weapons if you want some more. But I mean, maybe you've been buying a lot of mithril weapons to have spares or... You know, maybe you wanted to have all three of each type of mithril weapon in your stockpile. You'd probably be pretty broke if you tried that. So the Eternal Wand, I wanted this one specifically. Um, I am actually going to... I'm going to give it to Isabel. So the reason I said the wand was specifically good was, as you'll see very, very shortly... Because it has regeneration MP. Now, I could equip this onto Bridget. And she'd have a regenerating wand rather than a regenerating rod. But her rod skill is level 3 already. And the physical attack on your mages doesn't matter much. Even though this will do more damage than the, the milky, wa milky rod. The thing is, she's already got spark. So a wand with spark on it is kind of redundant. I'm not going to use sleep very often, but it's, you know, it's kind of silly. And there's no one else... Well, I guess if you're using the fairy, if you're using um, Primula, this might be an, a reasonable option. It'll give her an attack spell and regeneration. But I, I looked it up, and um, it's actually... it's in, in Scenario 3, we actually don't get a princess... Uh, Circlet, you know the, the regenerating as the MP regenerating accessory for women, uh, female mages, is actually not really accessible in uh, in um, in scenario three. So I thought, well, the only way to get some passive regeneration, some MP regeneration for Isabella that we're going to get to see, is if I give her this wand now. She's losing some defense. Uh, the wand must have a, some defense that comes with it. I'll just look it up here quick. Uh, the eternal wand comes with four defense. It's got a special skill. It's got spark magic. It's got regenerating MP. It's got the highest damage and all the bonuses for it. So like, it's it's pretty awesome. Uh, the only problem is that she's not going to have um, wand uh, proficiency right now. So her healing will have gone down a little bit there. Uh, because I didn't sort of plan that out, but, you know, we'll probably train up to level 1 and 2 before too long, and that'll give her healing a bit more of a boost, um, pretty quickly. Also, now that she's a, uh, a, uh, light princess, the, the tier 3 class does give her even more sort of passive, uh, magic affinity, so there's that. And, I mean, Spark is kind of expensive. I don't know, I like, like, for offense, I still think the Raphael Ankh is better with the... The the, love, the the cheap range 3 summon spell. But regenerate, regenerating MP is very helpful. So um, I'm going to go with that anyway. Rambling, rambling. Um, I'm actually going to put a cut here because I feel like I'm, it's going to take me a while to sort out. I'm going to make two more uh, small mithril accessories. So Kate needs a power ring. And I'm going to finally drop uh, the life ring for Julian because... Uh, Regenerating HP is not that important anymore. MP is still great, but uh, regenerating 2 HP per turn 
just doesn't matter that much. And then I'll do a little bit of research on who I want to make Orichalcum weapons with. So in a second, I'll be back and I'll show you what I've done. And hello again, folks. So I spent a little bit of time getting the weapons that I wanted to get. Uh, first off, Julian and Kate have their power rings, like I mentioned. Um, I'm also on the side of not giving Julian an Orichalcum's blade because he already does ridiculous amounts of damage. I think pre Orichalcum weapons, 9 base attack was the highest on the force. So, like, he's already the best attacker we've got. Giving him another plus 5 or 10 damage is not a big deal. And uh, Kate uh, has the power ring as well. So, she got a little bit of an attack bonus and her defense is up high, even higher. Now, because uh, I crafted some weapons I wanted to show the differences off. I already sold the old halberd with regeneration, uh, HP regen, but the Buster halberd looks pretty awesome. I decided because I gave Kate a, a power ring, I would finally get rid of her breaker arrow. Also, as an archer, she doesn't take physical damage all that often because she can attack from so far away. Um, so, focusing on DPS's damage output is, is kind of traditional. So I gave her the Sagittarius Bow um, as one of my first picks. And um, I think it'll have... Uh, I mean, I kind of am interested in showing off some of these specials. So uh, we'll be looking forward to a uh, Stardust special once we finally get around to that. Uh, you could hold on to the other arrow. If I ever expected her to take damage, I could keep that to equip it. And then we could... You know, we could temporarily boost her defense up to 67, but I think she'll be okay. Uh, next up, who else got a new weapon? There's not too many. Uh, you've seen the Eternal Wand. We're going to hold on to that. Uh, I did not buy any more rods or onks for now. The, um... I, I, I just want to explain myself for those. Um, so the Orichalcum Rod does give plus 6 defense, which is pretty nice. Um... But it gives you the Blaze spell, which isn't that important. Uh, Blaze 4 is a nice, cheap, good damage spell. But, um, you know, she's already got bolts and MP. She can steal MP and she'll regenerate MP with her other rods. So I felt, you know, going for the Orichalcum Rod didn't help too much. And then the Orichalcum Ankh, if you wanted to go that route, it's got uh, a special attack skill and all that. But its spell is Resist, which is a rarely used but useful skill. But we can already get that from another Ankh, and I don't even bother bringing it usually. So, um, you know, I'll probably, if I get enough Orichalcum, I'll, I'll try to make one of every weapon type. But I figured, you know, for now, that's not a high priority. I didn't make any for Leon. Uh, I did make one for Honesty here. So we're going from the Sylph Wing to the Full Metal Jacket. I mean Wing. Uh, so we're going to lose out on her HP regen with her old Wing, which I, I think was definitely the right pick for the Mithril tier. But the, the Full Metal Wing does give her an even higher defense bonus, and I think that's really valuable on uh, Honesty. And, you know, regenerating 2 or 3 HP, like I said a few times, isn't that big of a difference. Also, some defense, uh, Dark Elemental Resistance is not a bad idea when you're going against Bullzone. So I thought, like, this was a pretty straight upgrade almost all the way across. Uh, she still needs to get to level 3 with her, her wings anyway. One of my priorities was trying to give weapon types that people need to finish leveling up get them the Orichalcum weapon, that'll just give them a little bit more damage, that'll get them to their highest level a little bit quicker. Um, so Dark Resistance, you know, not horrible. In fact, she must have had negative 5, so instead of being weak to it, now she's strong to it when that's equipped. So we're not losing out on a whole lot, is what I'm thinking. Um, and then there's going to be a couple more near the bottom. So Prodone, I ended up giving 2. Um, and I'm, I'm still not sure on this one, but... I gave him a flame hatchet to... I'm not going to actually sell the Sky Tomahawk because that's his only range 3 type attack, basically. And getting rid of that seems like a bad idea. But he is leveling it up really slowly. So the flame hatchet is a little bit more damaging and I, I, I don't expect... Like, I don't think I'm going to give a flame hatchet to, uh, to Leon and I want to make one anyway, so... I kind of wish these this, this flame hatchet had a, a range of 3. Also, it loses its arrow property, so this is actually not strong against flyers the way the Sky Tomahawk is. 
So I'm not sure how good it will be, but uh, I just you know want to show it off. He also has access to um, a new sword. So I was thinking, because uh, Symbios is our main sword user, he's probably not going to get an Orichalcum sword. So I wanted to make sure, I guess to compare here, I wanted to make sure somebody got to show off the Orichalcum sword. So Produne is going to be the, uh, the Lord Sword user, and uh, once we get uh, Symbios back, he'll have other weapons, basically. Um, and, I mean, that gives him his highest damage output for now. If he ever levels up his hatchet, uh, or his tomahawk, it'll help. And then finally we've got Spiriel, and I made her a new rapier. So her old rapier uh, was good. This one is just a bit better, and it's uh, a straight upgrade. And again, Midian will get his own special rapier, so I thought, like, the people, like, the, the blade... If anyone else used a blade, I, I would probably have, uh, have gotten an Orichalcum blade for them. I figured... If your main character is not even going to use the Orichalcum version, well, the other option was make an Orichalcum version for th for for Symbios and all them, but they're not on the team right now, and uh, so we're just going to sell. I should have equipped it already, but yeah, we're going to sell the old one just for inventory management mostly, and uh, you'll see we're not really losing a lot of money here. You can make an Orichalcum beak in case you're wondering. So if you want to use Pendoff. And you've promoted him to, uh, to, to, to his third class. Uh, he can equip a Orichalcum Beak, but it still only has, like, 12 attack power. So don't expect much. Uh, we're gonna sell the Shiva Sword. I mean, having access to Ice or Lightning Resistance is good, but he's got, like, too many weapons already. I'm not sure if he's ever even going to level up his Spear, but, uh, for now, let's, uh, clear some inventory up a little bit. And uh, we'll sell Honesty's Old Wing. The Regeneration I just don't think is worth enough to hold on to anymore. Really good early on. Late, late game doesn't make too much difference. So next upgrades probably want to get uh, an Axe for Leon. Uh, maybe a Spear for Honesty if we have time. Maybe a Spear for Produn. Um, I really like... See, the Orichalc... I'll, I'll, I'll try to get an Orichalcum Mace eventually, but it loses out on its magical property, and the Arc Halberd is pretty awesome. Uh, there's some really good Orichalcum uh, ninja weapons, but I don't have a, a tier 3 ninja yet. Um, other priorities... The Claw is not a very high priority. Onks and Rods we talked about. I've already got the bow. We want to sell this. I could hold on to it, but I don't think... I need it, like, I, I don't think it's going to make any difference, really. And it's just inventory management. So, I also thought about making an Orichalcum knife, but the main reason we have the knife is for the plus two luck to protect against status ailments. Um, the Orichalcum knife will do more damage, but it doesn't come with the luck bonus, so I thought, you know, that's kind of a waste. Because it doesn't really do very much damage, even in the best of times. So before we wrap up this episode, I think... The villagers will actually say something different now that the Snow Witch has walked in. So I figured we'll, we'll wrap this up. We'll talk to the headquarters members and we'll get one more quick round of the town. And then next episode we can go fight the Snow Witch. With our cool new characters. Everyone is very grateful that they weren't frozen and had their blood drained out of them. Yeah, you'd be all dead, that's true. Obviously, the Snow Witch is coming to suck your blood. Except for the one that just walked in the door. <laughs> They're just superstitions, except for that one that just tried to kill us. I don't know if that's what all snow fairies do, but that one certainly seems to. If it's even a fairy. It's a snow witch, really. Um, You guys have, like, changed your tune now that, uh, now that you've seen one. And I always forget that you can technically talk to the priest about stuff if you go behind his uh, little um, pulpit, I guess. The witch who lives in Mount Bolet. Just a feeling he has. Another one of these mysterious, yeah, I just, you know, I feel like I know this person from somewhere. Aw, uh, so Big Bro isn't going to save you. Big Bro's going to run away from the Snow Fairy. So Big Brother is going to knock him out. That was himself, talking about himself. Oh no! Wait, what? Maybe the translation is not quite right here, because I'm trying to talk to the boy. 
Maybe he's just too scared to speak. No, no, that's... <laughs> I feel like that's a translation issue. <laughs> Alright, let's have a quick uh, say hello to our team. You know, you never know, they might get some interesting backstory here. Like, uh, apparently the unicorn likes treacherous mountains or something. My vehicle will work fine in the snow, so don't worry about- I never worry about this guy. Still got our blue dragon, we'll see if we find any more. Now we have a gold dragon rather than a white dragon. I could easily stay outside the cabin, but then I would be spotted. Also, everybody looks different, so say hello to their new uh, battle sprites. I do know how to recruit dragons, we've been over this before. For us who were born in the Southern Empire, this cold is pretty unbearable. We would have been in trouble if this cabin wasn't here. Now, you're mostly dragon at this point. I assume dragons are pretty good at not freezing to death. I don't know, it just seems like you're probably okay. Hmm. Chirp. You know, you'd think penguins would like snow, honestly. I have wings, so it wouldn't be a problem for me to travel across the snow, but I understand it will be exhausting for you guys to walk. Also, the, the ice might, like, freeze your wings or something, and then you'll have some problems, so maybe it won't be that easy after all. We are all tired from the evolution, and we are not accustomed to these conditions. It's almost as if we will need to use a potion to muster enough strength. Nah, don't worry about the potions. It's not that important. We got lots. My fur will shield me against the snow, but I wouldn't like my fur to get all snowy and wet. There's no great uh, opportunities that time. We haven't experienced this cold weather before, and everyone is becoming annoyed with it. Even so, it will serve as training for a possible snow battle, so I'm not worried. Yeah, I would expect, like, Dystonia is pretty far south, so if that was your native homeland, you might be used to the tropics here. Walking in this snow is tough, even for us. King Benetrim, however, remains calm. Benetrim already amazes me, and with his physical strength, he's even more amazing. Thanks, Prodin. When I was young, I trained at a waterfall during the winter, so this weather is no problem for me, because I'm an anime ninja straight out of Naruto. When I regained my senses in the underground ruins of Aspia Castle, I'd learned I'd lost all of my soldiers. They were being magically controlled. Enduring a blizzard is comparatively minor. Yeah, badass. Go, Spiriel, go. I didn't expect there would be much snow here, but if we proceed a little bit further, the path will lead down the mountains to the ancient road. If there is to be a battle in the mountains, we will need a lot of strength. Unfortunately, we are not experienced in the snow. Luckily, we've got a lion. He'll be fine. Since Primula is guiding us on this shortcut, we have encountered a lot of snow. It's her fault. Would it have been better if we went the normal route and not followed the fairy? Eh. As an apostle of light, I can now bless our force. It's also possible for me to turn Symbios and Medion and their armies into apostles, but we will have to meet them first. And they'll all have to get to level 20 in case you didn't grind in scenario 1 and 2. You'll be grinding now! <laughs> what do you desire? Gracia is now an innovator. We should go to the temple at the cliff if we get in trouble. Interesting. Alright, well, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. I, uh, I'm a little bit messy with uh, onks and rods and stuff. At some point, I'm still going to want to re-equip these girls a little bit. I'm not sure what we're going to do with them, but... They've both got MP regeneration, and I need to decide what secondary weapons they want. But everybody else is looking pretty solid. Um... We'll just have to keep our eyes open for more Ori Calcum, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll show off some more weapons. Anyway, I'm really excited for the next battle, so let me just end this one here. Next episode, you guys get to see it, and I'm gonna go fight this battle right now, because I'm, I'm having a good time. So, see you guys next episode, and thanks for watching, as usual. Have a great day.